We'd like to welcome you tonight to our 2019 National Technical Honor Society. And uh, when we have to get chairs out, that's a good sign, meaning we're set up for quite a few, but we have a very large group this evening um, being inducted and honored, which is, is great to see. Um, first of all, I, they probably don't want me to do this, but I would like, uh, we have a couple of our Board of Education members here tonight. I'd like them to wave. We have uh, <laughs> Carrie Dillon and Dave Prayer here this evening from our board. Uh, we appreciate them coming. The reason we're here, though, obviously is to recognize some students that have done uh, some fantastic work. And uh, the thing I like about this event every year, I say, and some of you might be experiencing, is it sort of kicks off the spring of uh, recognition events and honors nights and those sort of things. And the weather even is starting to cooperate, so it feels a little bit like spring, even though we're not there yet. But these folks, students that are being inducted this evening and those that have already been inducted last year really represent the best of the best uh, from our programs here at the Tech Center. And as you'll hear during the program this evening, um, I think both the students and the parents and their staff should be extremely proud of their achievements because they're combining not only their academic skills, the skills they've picked up here, whether it's in a particular trade or field of study, and probably first and foremost, uh, being recognized for their character. That combination of skill sets is going to leave you extremely successful in the future. So this is, I'm thinking, just one of many things that's going to come your way in the near future. So without any further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our assistant principal, uh, Jake Graff. But I would like to be first to say congratulations to the students this evening. and. Uh, Mr. Graff's going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. If we can all stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and I will now turn it over to Kyle Griffith, our Assistant Superintendent of Instruction and General Services for the NTHS purpose. The purpose of the National Technical Honor Society is fourfold. To stimulate a desire to render service, to promote leadership, to develop character or citizenship, to create an opportunity for scholarship. We are pleased to recognize and induct these students this evening as members of the National Technical Honor Society. We look forward to encouraging and supporting you as you model service, leadership, character, citizenship, and scholarship throughout the LISD Tech Center and your community. And now for the introduction of the ceremony. The colors of the National Technical Honor Society are silver, white, and purple. Silver represents value and worth. White represents truth and honesty. Purple represents achievement and honor. The official emblem of the organization is composed of a shield crossed by a scroll bearing the letters NTHS and the head of the American bald eagle. The eagle head is surrounded by a wreath of seven stars. The seven stars represent the seven attributes of the NTHS member. The ceremony will incorporate those seven attributes that are led by our um, officers. Jenny Heath, LISD Tech Center Principal, will light the white candle representing knowledge. In the center of the table is a lighted candle representing knowledge. Knowledge is a familiarity, awareness, or understanding gained through experience or study. The white candle represents the knowledge you have gained through your experience and study in your technical program. Rachel Alley, AM President, will light the candle representing skill.
Skill is the use of knowledge to develop great ability and ex expertness necessary to make a positive difference in a particular, particular occupational field. The first purple candle represents the attribute of skill. Miranda Harris, PM President, will light the candle representing honesty. Honesty is the quality of being truthful, trustworthy, and fair with everyone while at work or play. The second purple candle represents the attribute of honesty. Emma Ball, AM President, will light the candle representing service. Service is giving assistance and being ready to and able to provide a helpful and useful act. The third purple candle represents the attri attribute of service. Krista Stutzman, PM Vice President, will light the candle representing responsibility. Responsibility involves the, uh, the ability to act without guidance or superior authority and being answerable for your actions. The fourth purple candle represents the attribute of responsibility. Alexis Follett, AM Secretary, will lay the candle representing scholarship. Scholarship is a distinctive mark of one who has mastered an area of learning as reflected in the quality of his or her work, especially with respect to scope, thoroughness, and care. The fifth purple candle represents the attribute of scholarship. Brooke Strong, PM Secretary, will light the candle representing citizenship. Citizenship is being entitled with full civil rights and exercising the duties, rights, and privileges of this status. The sixth purple candle represents the attribute of citizenship. Alina Stoner, AM Treasurer, will light the candle representing leadership. Leadership is the responsibility of serving as a guiding force and directing the way by going first with courage and confidence. The final purple candle represents the attribute of leadership. Students, we hope you recognize each of these <coughs> attributes in yourself and value these qualities which make you eligible for the membership for the National Technical Honor Society. Congratulations for your accomplishments. <laughs> Candidates, please prepare to be inducted. Head on back. So while our students prepare to be inducted, I just want to take this opportunity to thank the many people responsible for this evening. Uh, first and foremost, parents and guardians of National Technical Honor Society inductees, please stand. <coughs> parents and guardians, please stand. Let's give you all a round of applause. On behalf of the LISD Tech Center, I want to thank you for your support of career and technical education. 
by sending your son or daughter to the LISD Tech Center. Of the 950 member student body that we have here at the Tech Center, your son or daughter is one of 44 students. Let me repeat that. Out of 950 students, your son or daughter is one of 44 students that is being inducted tonight, um, joining the current membership of outstanding students. Well done. Further, I want to recognize the educators who joined us tonight to celebrate our students. If you are an educator in one of the Lenway County High Schools, would you please stand? Tech Center, high schools, Ms. Cagle, please stand. Uh, we have with us tonight school board members, superintendents, principals, counselors, and instructors. These people, too, have invested in these students and helped mold them into what they are today. Thank you very much. Uh, as we keep getting ready, uh, kind of the NTHS requirements to get into this select group. Um, I'm not sure how many of you know, uh, but there are uh, pretty rigorous requirements to be selected. Uh, here at the Tech Center, they have to have a 3.5 GPA in their Tech Center course. They can have no more than five absences for the first um, semester, no more than three tardies. They must participate in a student organization, which could be Skills USA, HOSA, DECA, FFA, uh, BPA, Bridge Competition, uh, and any others, and as well as be a member in good standing. At their local school, they must have a 3.5 cumulative GPA, so starting from their freshman year all the way until they get to us here at the Tech Center. Um, once again, attendance is looked at and a member in good standing. Uh, so it's pretty impressive what these 44 young individuals have done in their high school career to get to this point. Um, so these are truly the top students who represent career and technical education. Uh, and I, I can say on behalf of all of us here at the Tech Center, we are extremely proud of these students. Uh, one last uh, shout out. I would also like to thank our horticulture program for the beautiful flowers that they have donated that each student will get, as well as the arrangements. Um, and I'm guessing we are getting pretty close, maybe. I haven't gotten the, the go-ahead, so um, also one last thing, uh, every member is required to participate in 10 hours of community service. Uh, so part of NTHS, we do participate in community service. They will get 10 hours um, through various projects such as Habitat for Humanity, uh, running blood drives. We are actually going to run a clothing drive um, here in the next couple weeks uh, for our communities and schools. Um, if they help out at concession stands, games, other activities, uh, Ag Day, Project Red, those all count towards their community service. So it's something that we uh, look heavily upon, um, and all 44 of these members will have to complete those, that 10-hour requirement. Um, I think we are really, really close. <laughs> it's like herding cats back there with 44 students, but we will uh, get started really soon. He hasn't. What else do you What's that? What else do you have? What else do I have? You got any um, jokes? What about a joke? Yeah. Uh, but really, honestly, this is one of our largest classes of NTHS <laughs> members. There, we got the thumbs up. Um, so having 44 new inductees, and we have 57 total members. Uh, this is our largest class. The next largest class was our... Um, induction class when we started NTHS about five years ago and that had 53 members so we are extremely proud um, to say that this class has uh, about 16 more members than we did last year. <coughs> Ms. Bachman are we ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. ready. Alright let's get this show on the road. So first up we have Kaylee Barrett from Britain Deerfield and she's in the horticulture program. You're going to get tired clapping, so we will save all applauses until the very end. Um, Kylie or Kyle Bardish from Britain Deerfield, and he's in the computer programming class. Jalen Berry is from Onstead, and he is in the EMT program. She, I'm sorry. Tori Cagle from the JC LISD Academy and Education Careers. Annalie Coates from Tecumseh in the EMT program. Yeah. 
Dylan Day from Tecumseh in dental assisting. Noah Duso from Summerfield in the biochem technology class. Abby Duso Garno from Madison in healthcare careers. Amanda Fisher from Blissfield in the healthcare careers class. Corey Fowler from Madison and Dental Assisting. Emily Griffin from Britton Deerfield in Nursing Prep. Erica Grandin from Hudson in Nursing Prep. Julia Harkey from Adrian in the Healthcare Careers. Michael Huck from Tecumseh in the Engineering Design and CAD program. Hunter Jones from Hudson in the Marketing and Entrepreneurship class. Taylor Jordan from Madison in the Nursing Preparation class. Ashlyn Cass from JCLISD Academy in the Engineering Design and CAD. Emily Kedzerick from Tecumseh in the EMT class. Madison Keller from Marenzi in dental assisting. Jamie Teske from Sand Creek in the video and audio production class. Brianne Lonis from Marenzi in dental assisting. They're all out of order. Who? Madison Keller from Marenzi and Dental Assisting. No? A little time out here. A little time out. Who? You missed this one. Anna Laura? I said. She, she, she hasn't come in yet. Okay. No. Anna Laura from Hudson. <laughs> Sorry, Anna. <laughs> Congratulations. Brianne Lonis from Renzi in dental assisting. We're back on track. <laughs> Jamie Teske from T Sand Creek in the video and audio production. Anna Millen from Tecumseh in Graphic Imaging. Keegan Miller from Madison in the Nursing Preparation class. Ella Passini, Homeschool Nursing Preparation. Kaylee Pinter from Tecumseh in the Healthcare Careers. Brianna Render from Tecumseh in Graphic Imaging. Griffin Raynard from Sand Creek in the Computer Programming. Christopher Saxton, Homeschool, Machining and Computer Aided Manufacturing. Alyssa Sayers from Madison in Healthcare Careers. Gavin Schmitz from Renzi in Engineering Design and CAD. Catherine Salinko from Tecumseh in Education Careers. Marcus Shipman from Hudson in Dental Assisting. Grace Smith from Onsted in the EMT class. Lindsay Strahan from Sand Creek in Healthcare Careers. <coughs> Emma Van Buren from Blissfield in Graphic Imaging. And last but not least, Maya Young from Madison Biochem Technology. Mia Young, I apologize. Let's give them a round of applause.
So it is with honor and great pride that the LISD Tech Center welcomes you into National Technical Honor Society membership. On the back of your program is the NTHS pledge. All members, please say, stand and recite the pledge with me now. As a member of the National Technical Honor Society, I pledge to maintain the myself to continue a record of scholastic achievement and I will strive for excellence in all aspects of my education. I will invest my talents, my skills, and my knowledge in a career of my own choosing. And shall always endeavor to uphold my obligations as a citizen of my community and my country. Thank you. At this time, the LSD Tech Center would like to recognize our senior members of the National Technical Honor Society. As your name is read, please come forward to receive your honor cords. Remain up front until all seniors have been recognized. Mr. Griffith, you want to do the cording? Seniors, Rachel Alley from Addison in nursing preparation. Emma Ball from Blissfield in Nursing Preparation. <laughs> Michaela Barber from Tecumseh in Culinary Arts. <laughs> Kaylee Barrett from Britton Deerfield in Horticulture. <laughs> Kyle Bardish from Britton Deerfield in Computer Programming. <laughs> Jalen Berry from Onsted in EMT. Chloe Collin from Madison in Engineering Design and CAD. Dylan Day from Tecumseh in Dental Assisting. Emily Griffin from Britton Deerfield in Nursing Prep. Erica Grandin from Hudson in Nursing Prep. Miranda Harris from Renzi in Nursing Prep. Alexis Hill from Hudson and work experience. Michael Huck from Tecumseh in Engineering Design and CAD. Hunter Jones from Hudson in Marketing and Entrepreneurship. Taylor Jordan from Madison in Nursing Prep. Alexis LaFollette from Hudson in Nursing Prep. Jamie Teske from Sand Creek in Video and Audio Production. Dalen Merlat from Marenzi as a co-op student. Anna Millen from Tecumseh in Graphic Imaging. Keegan Miller from Madison in Nursing Prep. Ella Passini from Nursing Prep and his homeschool. Brianna Render from Tecumseh in Graphic Imaging. Griffin Raynard from Sand Creek in Computer Programming. <laughs> Catherine Salinko from Tecumseh in Education Careers. <laughs> Alina Stoner as Homeschool Nursing Prep. <laughs> Lindsay Strahan from Sand Creek in Healthcare Careers. <laughs> Brooke Strong from Madison in Ag Tech. <laughs> Krista Stutzman from Blissfield as a Co-op and Alicia Summers from Madison as custom class. It is with great honor I proudly present the 2019 graduating class from the LISD Tech Center National Technical Honor Society. Let's give them a nice round of applause. At this time, I'm going to hand it back over to Jenny Heath for a closing. So students, it is our honor 
to celebrate you as awesome representatives and role models of the LISD Tech Center National Technical Honor Society. We applaud you. Wonderful job. So, wow, that's it. So, um, families, friends, and guests, um, we invite you to enjoy some refreshments over on the side. We have some cookies and punch. We do ask that our NTHS members stay up here because we do want to get a group photo, and we usually do some individual photos as well. So, um, they will join you shortly. But thank you all for coming tonight. We love to celebrate our students, and we have such a wonderful group here we're celebrating tonight. And have a great night. So thank you very much. Thank you.